Hey, everybody, this is gospel recording artist Patrick Dobson. I want to remind you of Psalm 138 and 8 that says, God is perfecting the things which concern you. And today, I pray that God blesses you as we watch together on this show, Gospel Awakening. This is Gospel Awakening, a viewer supported television show filled with motivating inspiration. Enjoy the show. Baby, I have something for you, but don't shake it too hard, all right? <laughs> well, I have something for you, too. What are we celebrating tonight? It's our anniversary. Yes, it's our 12th. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, can you believe it's been 12 years? It's crazy since we were 19, but I had a lot more hair then. So when do you think it'll be our time? Baby. You know, we have to trust God with this. You are Jesus. You're my strong tower, Jesus. My strength this hour, Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are, Jesus. My hope and my future, Jesus. Source in my shelter, Jesus. You're my Savior, keeper, my friend. Lord, I need you to take my hand and see. My 
Good morning, everybody. It is another great time with Gospel Awakening. I am your host, Terrence Jenkins. And I am the other host, Deborah Jenkins Blackwell. Good morning. Good morning, my sister. How are you doing today? I am very well. And how are you? I'm doing fine. You're looking mighty good. You're fixed all up this morning. You're getting ready to go to church. <laughs> Do I not look kind of decent every morning uh yeah okay yes you do you look decent every let's get our coffee on those of you yes. that's ready for us to do this let's just do our coffee this morning she <laughs> yeah yes, you're I, about to step into a territory you do not want to go there <laughs> but but good morning to everybody we're so glad you're here with us this morning we have a great great show for you our gospel artist this morning well, they've been listening to him. They know who it is, but just confirm. He's awesome. <laughs> is, that com is that confirmation enough? It is. When, when we were looking for his information, he's got so much stuff to talk about. Um, this is an incredible man. But Deborah, let's go ahead and get our coffee. We haven't done our coffee. The okay. viewers are waiting for the coffee. Ready? All right. Join One, us. two, three. <laughs> This is important to us because it's important to you. Yes. Every Sunday morning, we know that this is what you wait for, Gospel Awakening, for us to bring you the very best in gospel music. And we're grateful. Where is he out of, Deborah? He's out of Dallas, Texas. Okay, yeah. And I think viewers are going to be excited whenever they hear his testimony. I don't know what we don't have to talk about concerning this man. He's been everywhere. We didn't have enough time. <laughs> and we, okay. His story is awesome. Yeah, yeah. My God, his testimony. I mean, you know, I, we write our songs. That's how we write our songs, from the depth of our heart, from our testimonies. Mm -hmm. We write our songs, and I tell you. And, and I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret before we get there. He's got some Jenkins in his family. Shh. But we'll talk about that. <laughs> We just might be some king, you know? We, we might be moving on up, girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, he shared that story, but they may get a chance to hear a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. Yeah, but this morning, y'all going to really, you've heard a little bit of him, but wait till you really hear this story to really appreciate this artist. Oh, you absolutely will. And listen, we're going to a commercial break. We're going to come back. He's going to sing. And then we're going to have the opportunity to talk with him, interview him. You're going to love this awesome man of God. Everybody, thanks for watching Gospel Awakening. We're going to a commercial break. We'll be back. But let's take another sip. Losing him is the hardest thing I've ever been through. But Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home is doing so much for my family I can't begin to put it into words. And because we pre-planned with Steve last year, we ensured that all of his wishes are being met. I don't have to worry about anything. My family can relax at this difficult time and celebrate his life. Won't you give us a call today? We would be honored to provide you the trust, service, and compassion you rightfully deserve in your time of need. That is our promise here at the Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home. 
Gospel Awakening is a viewer-supported television program, and here's how you can keep gospel television on the air for years to come. Send your generous tax-deductible contribution via Cash App to Gospel Awakening NC through PayPal to contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or mail your contributions to Gospel Awakening 4584 US 70 Business West, Clayton NC 27520. Thank you for your support. Gospel Awakening is the best way to get the most exposure for your business. Whether you're in the medical field, sales, real estate, food, or ministry, make your business grow on the Gospel Awakening television show. For commercial information, call us at 984-239-8554 or visit our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Here's how you can be the next talent on Gospel Awakening. Register on our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Send an email request to us at contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or call us at 984-239-8554 and we'll register you in person. Let Gospel Awakening be the avenue that takes your ministry across the world. been waiting long enough he's in the house this morning and you've been enjoying his music put it together for patrick dobson yay <laughs> thank you so much miss deborah mr terrence it's good to hang out with you this morning 
on yes. things. And so I am ecstatic to be hanging with you guys on this morning. <laughs> no, we are honored, sir. Well, it, it's, it's my pleasure. And I think it's good at any level, uh, especially in considering this last year and what mm. we to have any communication and interaction with people. It's, it's uh, life-giving, so I'm glad to be here. You've got that right. So tell everybody where you are, um, Pastor, or we'll talk about that in a minute, but Pastor. <laughs> Patrick is cool. Uh, Patrick is fine, but I'm currently in Dallas, Texas, and uh, I serve in a ministry here uh, under the senior pastor, Dr. Tony Evans, and I'm sure many are familiar with his ministry, uh, just a, an incredible man of God. Yes. I uh, had the opportunity over the years to minister at the church. And uh, just uh, a couple of years ago, Dr. Evans extended the invitation for me to come and be the pastor of worship and serve in that capacity. And so I've been here going on two years and uh, close to two years and just excited about what God is doing here and, and uh, living life, raising two boys, a 10 and a six year old. And oh, wow. 23 years, my family has adapted to being back in the Big D. Uh, we were here some years ago, um, uh, 2006 to 2008, and uh, God brought us back to this location, and so here we are, but uh, so we're from Dallas, Texas at this point. I'm a Bama boy. I'm a really a Bama boy. I grew up in Alabama. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to later, but uh, I reside in Texas right now, so. You brought up, you did mention briefly about your new album. Share that with us. I will. We've been working for uh, a couple of years, just uh, writing, uh, just writing and kind of putting things on the shelf until the appropriate time. I've seen your pastor, you know, prior to moving to Dallas, Texas. So there was not a time, a lot of time in my schedule to devote to even writing or recording. And so now that's kind of amped up and really believing that the God, that, uh, that God has spoken to me to release an album this year. Um, there's a few songs that's already been released that will be a part of that project, which is God is, God is able. I'm actually doing a medley uh, from Keep Me, uh, uh, the You Are Jesus song that everybody calls it. And uh, I'll do a new medley with that song. And then there's a new song that I'm releasing uh, February 5th, uh, which by the time people watch this, they'll be able to access it. Um, it's called Make It All Right. It's a song that I worked on with Pastor John P. Key. And I'm uh, super excited about that song. It was a real traditional song, gospel uh, feels. I was missing church. We can talk about that later. <laughs> All of those songs will be on this album and a few more. So I'm excited at this, this point this, this year. I think some things are really coming together. God has given us a light at the end of this tunnel. And, uh, and, I, and I pray it releases hope to people. So that's my intent. You know, glory, glory to God, uh, honor to the Father. Uh, but I, I pray that hope is released through it, you know. Yeah. Let me ask you, can you dive a little bit deeper into your diverse background? Absolutely. You know, I'm asked that question on a number of occasions, and um, uh, there was a moment there where I really felt like the enemy tried to attack my destiny uh, in a moment there in sixth grade where he really planted a seed in me uh, after uh, I was jumped by a gang and, and uh in 1991, I was in sixth grade, and and um, and I really felt that seed rise in me uh, that really wanted to overcome me. You know, wanted me to become a person that 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 you know would have a, a, a racist tendency. And uh, the enemy really dealt with me in that moment because I, I didn't understand why was I jumped. You know, why why is it that I'm I'm going having to go through this as a sixth grader and and uh, but the enemy was really trying to uh, take out the call of God on my life, even at that point. And um, I'm married now. I've been married for 20 uh, going on 23 years. Uh, we have a biracial son uh, that we adopted. His name's Gary and he's 10 years old. My son, Isaiah, is African-American. He's he's uh, six years old. And so we've got a very diverse house. And I know that had I allowed the enemy to sabotage what God was trying to do Come on now. in 1991, I wouldn't have the family dynamic that Come I had. On. Now. I would have missed out on everything that God had for me. I would have missed out career-wise. Yeah. I would have missed out on relationships that I had. I would have missed out uh, on the sons that God's allowing me to raise now in my home. And so I embrace it. I'm thankful. For it. I yeah. don't shy away talking about it. 
I can't stand what the enemy has done uh, mm -hmm. in our culture. I can't stand what he's done in the political realm. But I know this, God has still given us the power to crush the head of that enemy and crush the head of that yeah. devil so that uh, we can snuff out this spirit that chooses to, to kill, steal, and destroy. And so, you know, I feel like part of my ministry is to expose that thing and to choke off the oxygen supply of that demon uh, so that God can be glorified in the earth. Hey. Man, so we have got to go, everybody. We're going to a commercial break. I uh, hate to say goodbye to you, but we're going to enjoy this. Um, Emmanuel is here after we come back from the commercial break. But don't go anywhere. God bless you. We love you, Brother Patrick. We're going to see everybody back after this commercial. Thank you. Gospel Awakening is the best way to get the most exposure for your business. Whether you're in the medical field, sales, real estate, food, or ministry, make your business grow on the Gospel Awakening television show. For commercial information, call us at 984-239-8554 or visit our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Thing I've ever been through. But Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home is doing so much for my family I can't begin to put it into words. And because we pre-planned with Steve last year, we ensured that all of his wishes are being met. I don't have to worry about anything. My family can relax at this difficult time and celebrate his life. Won't you give us a call today? We would be honored to provide you the trust, service, and compassion you rightfully deserve in your time of need. That is our promise here at the Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home. Gospel Awakening is a viewer-supported television program, and here's how you can keep gospel television on the air for years to come. Send your generous tax-deductible contribution via Cash App to Gospel Awakening NC through PayPal to contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or mail your contributions to Gospel Awakening 4584 US 70 Business West, Clayton NC 27520. Thank you for your support. Here's how you can be the next talent on Gospel Awakening. Register on our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Send an email request to us at contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or call us at 984-239-8554 and we'll register you in person. Let Gospel Awakening be the avenue that takes your ministry across the world. Thank you so much. I know you have enjoyed our artist on this morning. He's an awesome young man of God. He really is. But listen, we want you to know that because of contributors like you to the show, we have many people who donate to our show, we can continue to bring artists to our program like that. And so we just want to give a shout out this morning to a few of you um, who have just been there for us. Um, Pastor Robert O'Neill out of Zebra, North Carolina, O'Neill Tabernacle. Yay, bless you. Uh, Brother George Taylor out of Scotland Neck. Uh, Pastor Robert Blackwell of New Hope Church of God in Christ, Maysville, North Carolina. Network for God. That's an organization where people give to and they donate to nonprofit organizations like Gospel Awakening. So to those of you who are part of that, thank you so much. And Bishop Frank and Willa Dean Taylor, God bless you out of Irwin, North Carolina. Thank you so much. Continue to reach out to Gospel Awakening. Um, just because of you, we can do what we do. And we cannot do this by ourselves. Help us to take this show across the nation. Here's how you can do it. I won't go through naming each one of these particular ways you can give, but you see, it's all sitting right there in front of you. We challenge you to pray about it and give that we might be able to take this show to the nations. I believe that God is doing some great things through Gospel Awakening. And I believe that if we can just continue supporting and continue giving, <clears throat> that we'll be able to do <clears throat> what those say cannot be done. I believe that with God, all things are possible. So yeah. we say thank you for whatever you have done, whatever you will do. And again, it's because of your contribution that we're able to do what we're doing. And we yeah. say thank you. <clears throat> thank you. <laughs>
Well, it's yep. time to hear this very last song which this young man is about to sing. Um, what's the name of the song, Deb? I can't think of the name of the song. It's one that he just wrote. Oh, we just talked about this a little bit earlier. That was the one that was his testimony. Emmanuel is here. Yes. You're going to love that song. It is absolutely beautiful. But until next week, anything you want to say, Deborah, real quick? I love y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs> love you too. God bless you. See you next week. Awakening is supported by viewers like you. We hope you enjoyed this program. And until next time, God bless you. Oh, when it's just you.